Yeah. Oh, dude, are you ready? I'm always ready. Why? We have a location on ice. No way. Really? Where are they? Alright. Yeah, I'll be there. Oh, wow. Deep in my sea of loathing Broken to your serpent's eye Nail We ain't giving to me It seems what's left of my human side Is slowly changing In me Oh, wow What's up guys, welcome to the Country Mash. I got something pretty cool planned today. Um, as you guys can see, it's really windy once again. Um, I know all of my videos are windy, but I got something so cool planned today. I don't care how windy it is, I wanna do it anyways. Um, we got 4th of July coming up. It's a big holiday. With everything going on in the world today, you never know when an attack can happen. You never know when you're gonna be in one. Um, and usually, you know, on holidays, Lots of people like to get together in big groups and um, it makes easy targets. So today I'm going to be testing to see, you know, during an event like 4th of July, what's something you could hide behind if something were to happen. So I figured the most common and obvious thing is a nice chest full of ice and beer or soda. It depends on what kind of party you're at. So I'm using three popular calibers today. Um, I'm not going to use 22 long rifle. If something happened, I really doubt a terrorist or uh, a mass shooter or anyone would be using 22 long rifle. So I'm going to be using a 9mm, a 223 out of an AR-15, and then 300 Win Mag just to simulate a, a really high powered cartridge. So let's get started. Slow down. You don't think I'm gonna actually shoot a big ice chest full of beer, do you? No way. I am gonna shoot these, however. I got three little ones uh, full of, each one has about, oh, each one does have a 12 pack of soda, um, and then completely filled with ice, so there's no, there's no space in there. They are filled to the top. Um, I got one for each caliper. Um, that way I'm not shooting the same one because then obviously we're gonna lose some water, lose some ice. Um, so we're gonna start off with nine millimeter, then two, two, three, and then last but not least, the 300 wind mag. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's super windy and uh, my camera was on the tripod and got blown about like five feet. So uh, it completely broke. So unfortunately, we will only be getting one angle today of these shots. Um, to make it worth it, I will do slow motion. So I'm sorry, uh, things happen. Um, we just gotta work with it. I also forgot to mention that uh, I did buy some one gallon jugs of water behind the coolers. That way, if, uh, for the bolts that do make it through, we can see how much damage they do. So let's get started. First up, we're gonna do nine millimeter on the full ice chest. Let's see what happens. All right guys, so nine millimeter did go through. Uh, sorry, it's not the best aim, but uh, 
did hit the bottle, went through. Um, you can see right there, that one went in. Um, there's nothing in the bottle either. They went through both sides. So, uh, handgun definitely won't go through. You can see the entry holes right there. in there. It's kind of cool. So let's go on up to 223 and uh, just see what kind of damage it can do. Alright guys, so up next is 223. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, so the 223 did penetrate with a tiny little entry hole came out the back, I don't know if you guys can see that, and then went into the bottle, but I do not see an exit hole on this bottle, and I'm just now seeing the bullet is inside the bottle, Let's see if we can pour it out. it probably wasn't going to penetrate as much simply because there's more to go through and this is a very light bullet uh, and it's going to get caught up a lot easier I just got the jacket out of the bottle as well kind of cool alright so let's move on up and then last but certainly not least the 300 wind mag let's see what happens If you guys like soda flavored slushies, this is how you do it. So it's safe to say that uh, if you're under attack, don't hide behind a full ice chest. If you're not armed, then I would just run. The whole ice cube, now it's slush. That's crazy. Wow, the soda can. Totally flattened out. Just... Well, look at that exit hole. That's cool, man. Man, this thing did some serious damage. You gotta love high powered rifles. If only I had a 50 cal. In the future, it'll happen. Alright, guys, well, that's it for today's video. Um, again, I'm sorry about the one angle and that the camera broke. Uh, I will figure out a way to get another camera somehow so I could keep making more videos. Um, it's funny how I was talking about the other week uh, how you know you guys need to do you guys need to do what you really want to do and don't give up and never quit when it gets hard and um, you know it's funny it's things actually do get hard and you just got to figure out a way around it and it makes you smarter it makes you stronger and it makes you better um, and look at the bright side and look at the positive stuff um, in every situation I get to be out here with ice cold drink enjoying this really beautiful sunny weather the wind is keeping it pretty cool out here which is really nice so if you guys enjoy the video um, and you haven't subscribed already, please hit that button down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everyone who subscribed already. You guys are a huge support. Um, share this video with all your buddies who you think would enjoy it. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.